Remember the melancholy of Haruhi Suzunia? Well, better yet, should I say, do you remember the disappearance of Haruhi Suzumiya? Anyways, uh, guess who's not the main character anymore? But then guess who is? N Nagato. Nagato's the main character. Hooray! I mean, she does fit the bill, but, uh, never mind. I'm 100% sure there's going to be a lot of adorableness coming at me. Her adorableness... I just can't handle it. Uh. Please, don't do this to me. Not on the first episode. Not, and I even admit it in... You know, after watching Harahi Suzumiya and the disappearance of Harahi Suzumiya, this is weird. For someone who watched the series twice, uh, yes, I watched it twice, I would be expecting Kion Rapman to be freaking out. But everything is... normal. Anyways, in the club room, which has nothing in it. Well, it does, but it just, it's just barren. Kion mentions that he's been in the club for a week. Which led my mind to go, so it's been a week since the event. If you catch my drift. You know, you know what I'm talking about, about time and... And... You know. I also just remember something very specific about this show. Very, very specific. Is Nagasto still an android from outer space? Is she still an alien in general? Because, uh... This is a little too normal. Nagato is scaring me. No matter how adorable she is, no matter how cute she gets, or how thankful she is, she is terrifying to me. She'll be terrifying until the next episode. Because then I will be used to this new Nagato. Because what I'm used to, I'm used to gods, espers, time travelers, and aliens. I'm not used to normal purple hair literature club girl over here, no. I'm also used to Kion's narration, which isn't here anymore. As soon as I saw the hair flown in the wind, and that camera is shooting them from, like, the street light or something. Oh boy. I know exactly who it was. Oh boy. Brown haired girl. Kinda, you know, probably like five foot seven or something. Uh, long brown hair at that. Uh, two yellow bows in her hair. You know, it's, not cer it's, it's certainly no one we know. I mean... <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Seriously. Wait, 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 wait. When she walked past, Nagato kind of had like a epiphany. <laughs> when she walked by, looked at her, and Kion's like, wait, do you know her? And she's like, no, I don't. But why did you look at her? Which leads me to my little theory. Okay, 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 okay. For all you fans who know the series, let's. This is how I'm gonna say it. Okay, this is how I'm gonna. This is this is me. This is all me. My thoughts, my opinion, my everything. The events of the disappearance of Haruhi Suzumiya. It all happened. You know, Nagato went in the middle of the street. She did a little time travel thing, and you know what? It went success. And, you know, everything is weirded out. Harohi is in that other school with the other guy, and she's not in their school. The SOS Brigade hasn't been made, and all that. And now, I think Nagato left some some type of memory in her head, but Kion... And she also... She also made Kion forget everything, because remember, in the disappearance of Harohi says to me, he didn't forget everything. He's to remember the SLS of Brigade. He's to remember how he he remembered everything. But here, I guess, because you know, I think at the in the How He Says It Mia movie, they mentioned that no matter what happens, Nagato will that that event will happen again. That little time travel thing, it will happen again. So I'm guessing it did happen again and this show formed.
And this time, Nagato didn't make the mistake to make Kion remember. She made him forget everything as well. And somehow, he was able to be put in the literature club, so I guess it's fate that he was supposed to meet Na Nagato, but... I guess he's... I'm not to, not to say he didn't meet Haruhi, because he did back in the past... This is confusing. Let's just continue on. If Nagato gets more adorable, I don't know what. By the way, isn't that blue-haired girl over there supposed to be the one we're supposed to stay away from? You know, the one I get terrified from because she almost killed us? But, you know, that's just me. Never mind, this girl still has killing intents. First of all, she had a red eye, and, uh... She, like, killer jumped or whatever at Kion and grabbed his face, but, you know... Just, like, rub it. Anyways, besides Kion better not dropping those eggs, we head back to, I guess, Nagato's apartment, and, uh, our killer here is, uh, she's cooking. Now, she was humming a song, and she thought she was slick. I know a song she was humming there. She was humming the ending theme to, uh, How Do He Says Me? She, yeah, she, she, she was humming the ending theme, mm hmm And then Kion mentions that she's always humming that song. Would that technically be breaking the fourth wall? So as Nagato was getting her shirt pulled off, we noticed that Kion was staring. How the heck did they not remember that he was there? I don't know. Oh, her shirt was being pulled off because she had a stain on it. So in the washing machine room, Nagato asks Kion, how much did you see? He said only up to the belly and waistline, which somehow made her relieved. So Nagato asks Kion, how was her belly? And I'm sitting here like, Wait, no matter what he says, it's going to come out wrong, perverted, and he... You... If a, if a girl asks you, asks you that question, how are you going to get out of that safe? Look, I just came from watching One Piece and the new opening and... And the sabo I, it, We already just had Sabo. We know how he is. And then by coming to this, and it's like so too adorable... And Nakato made that adorable face when she said turkey. Oh my god. Anyways, next day, we're, the group is looking for turkey. And the first thing we do, uh, we go to a chicken store and uh, they don't have a turkey. But uh, they have, you know what. So here comes uh, Asahina and uh, Tsuyuya. Uh, uh, yeah, here they come. They 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 pop into existence. First of all, Asahina was already adorable. Why would they do this? So uh, Asahina has a fan club, and I'm guessing Asahina has. I'm guessing that's Asahina that she said. And apparently, Kion has an ID card for this club. Anyways, uh, Nagato steps between everyone and she says stop messing with Kion we're just here to buy a turkey leave us alone but Tsuya says uh we have a turkey how about we just give it to you which shoots Nagato right in the heart and she couldn't be able to handle it because she really wants that turkey only now that I noticed that Nagato is really frail she is constantly 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 being picked up Seriously, how much does she weigh? Like, two pounds? You can literally pick her up by her face. So, all of a sudden, Nagato and Asahina are having a battle. I guess to see who's better for Kion or something like that? Because I think Asahina's a childhood friend of, uh, of, of Kion, but Nagato is not. So now they're having some type of love war? So they're having a competition around the entire mall place? Um, uh, mark market area, and you know, know just having war. So Nagato, re after actually after the entire battle war and everything that has happened with all this this competition thing, which Nagato and Asahina barely did anything in. Nagato rethinks about having a turkey when she saw a cake for Christmas. I think Nagato and Kion just got a closer relationship inside of the, uh, club room. If this was Persona, I think someone Arcana would raise its level. So Kion is like, wait, 
you want a four-layer wedding cake? No, fix that. Two layers. And this dress. What even? But then Asakura, Asakura walks in a room and she's like, Hey, look what I have. Bam. Permission to use a club room on Christmas. How about them pineapples? She did a lot to get that permission slip. So, yeah, Nagato is going to make the best Christmas party ever. And flashbacks of when she, I think she first met Kion in the bookstore, unless that's another time. But yeah, she's going to make the best celebration ever.